Okay, so today we are going to create a scrolling text in shortcut video. Let me open this one. Okay, and first of all, we go to shortcut. Double click it, and let's see. Double click the icon. Okay, and then I press Control O, open up whatever screen. This one. Okay, so what we are going to do is we, oh, excuse me, we are going to add a scrolling text gear. Okay, and what we do is for, I'm going to create brand new HTML file. So let's go to start, go to notepad, and let's add a mark key. And this is the scrolling text. My key. Okay, let's see if I'm still here. Yeah, very good. Now check my iPhone. Okay, once you finish that, you click File, Save As, and remember to change the encoding to UTF-8 because you might be adding a uh, scrolling text with other languages. So just for convenience, I'll just stick to UTF-8 and I just call it example scroll. And remember to save as type as all files and then dot HTML. Okay, save it, close it. And then when you go back to shortcut video, you click the video and then you add the filter and then you add the overlay HTML. And usually I will just open this up first. And I just open up the file, the HTML file that I just create. The examples grow. Let me check. I'm still here. Hello. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, examples grow. And usually I'll just click edit to see if I have a text. So when you scroll inside, so there is, this is the scrolling text, right? And remember to tick the effect. And so let's run our file. Let me see, because I, oh, you know what? Because this is black, so it's very hard to see. Let's change a little bit. Click edit. And we go to view source. Oh, excuse me. I have to get back to the video because I'm using iPhone. And let's go here. Let's add some color to that point. Usually, what I do is Just do this. Just it's easier to read. I will wrap around my text with font if it's font tag. Okay, and then I add the color equals open close quote. Let's put it yellow. And then Control S or save it. Once you save it, you close the edit box and you can see the text here. Okay. Let's see if it's scrolling. Yeah. It's over there. 
is scrolling. Okay, and let's say if you want to make it bigger, then you go back to the Edit tab. And again, in the font tab, you add size equals open close quote. And then let's say 36. Control S, save it. Close the box. And um, let's go. It used to be, yeah. So it's bigger, right? Okay, and let's render the text. And it is scrolling. If you want it to go underneath, let's add one more attribute. So we go back to edit. We go to view source. And then inside our marquee tab, simply add v space equal open close quote let's say 400 so it's going from the top to the bottom for 40 400 pixel okay so let's reload it and you see it here right so it's going from top to bottom for 400, 400 pixels. Let's say if you want to make your text transparent, then what can you do? What you can do is to go back to edit. You go to your 40 tag, which is here. Open, open body tag. And the close body tag, and you simply add a style equals open close quote, and then you add opacity colon. You can put any any number between zero and one, and if you put zero, then you won't see the text. But if you put one, then you won't see it transparent. So let's say 0 0.4. Okay, Control S, save it, close the box, and then reload. Okay, and let's see. Now you can see a transparent text. You can always adjust the opacity um, using the edit box method that I just showed you. Basically, that's the technique to use the HTML overlay to create scrolling text. Thank you. Bye-bye.